A frequent fallacy many pseudo-analysts are using is trying to excuse value with success. Something is good because it's famous. This is backwards logic, since something can be good even without being successful. Horikoshi refused to give up and he learned from his mistakes. And in the end, it paid off for him. It's a hype train. That's all it is. The term success is kinda arbitrary when you know the popularity rankings of Shonen Jump are controlled by the editors. If they don't like a series, they are going to throw it at the bottom and be damned how much the readers like it. My Hero Academia is a great anime, becoming one of the most popular series in the magazine right now, and one of the most recognizable anime and manga of the 2010s in the process. The typical anime trash, they would hype this thing up way higher than it deserves, and then they will milk it for views. Hirakoshi had to cancel the series before Hiroaka. The reason they were cancelled was because they weren't mainstream enough. Let's not kid ourselves. If you are not rehashing the style of Naruto or One Piece, you don't stand a chance. Hirakoshi did not learn from his mistakes. He was just hustled into making a damn Naruto clone. Knowing what Horikoshi had to go through in order to truly achieve his dream of publishing successfully in Jump makes it even better. Is this all we have to look forward to as anime fans? NBA, you don't know what you're talking about. This is actually good. That's because the bar has been lowered to the point where you guys call anything good. Y'all even call Black Clover good. Naruto ended, the shonen tards were starving for something to replace it, Boruto was shit, and here comes something similar but way worse. But they don't care, they just want something to hype, so they will feel special for being part of it, because it's successful while it's popular and hyped. The moment it stops being hyped and something else comes along, they will drop it and move to the next thing. So much for calling it successful.